up guys welcome back to another video so you saw how bad that headlight looked and this video has absolutely nothing to do with that but uh yeah we're gonna go ahead maybe it's cutting grass we uh we already actually ordered brand new headlights and brand new fog lights because it looks like crap i mean i'm not really driving the truck in the winter time that much but i still want to get it fixed but what today's video is going to be as you can already tell in the title i ordered an intake um, not really expecting it to do too much for the truck. Um, I'm just trying to clean the engine bay up a little bit. Uh, I know it's not going to make it any worse. It might not make it, uh, may not make it great, but it's definitely not going to make it any worse. So let me go ahead and show you what's in the box. Uh, this is an eBay intake, but I'm going to be honest with you. It looks like a uh, sinister diesel. It looks like every other brand and it's made for a technically online. It's made for a third gen, but, uh, you see my neighbor cutting his grass. <laughs> uh, it's kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. He has his dogs like chained up in the backyard and he's like getting frustrated because they're in his way. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so the, the intake looks the same. Let me just get into it. Let me stop talking. I got sidetracked. That's ADD added to So what's in the box? Look how dirty the Civic is. What's in the box? So intake pipe, which isn't the full, it doesn't get down to the turbo. I was really hoping it would have, but I knew it didn't in the video, but, or in the, I'm sorry, like in the description whenever I purchased this, I knew it didn't get down that far. I would have liked it to though. Uh, essentially you'll have a coupler coming off the intake, then this will meet up, and then this will actually replace your air box. Um, but pipe, filter, clamps, and it looks like a bracketry and maybe some hardware in there. But uh, that's that's what's in your box. How much did this cost me? Shipped to my doorstep, $49. Uh, is it worth it? Who the hell knows? It might not even fit, but uh, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to put you guys on a tripod and I'm going to get in this engine bay and start tearing it apart. All right. So I hope that's, uh, yeah, that's pretty much set up for you guys. Um, you know, I'm going to loosen these worm gears. I really hope that this is not a super, super long video. This should be one of the easier things that I've done. Uh, eight millimeter right here. Um, definitely got to take off the bottom. We'll get to that here. In a, oops, I almost dropped that. Get to that here in a second. Well, let me pause the video. Uh, if I have recommendations on absolutely anything that is lifted that you own, uh, you know those creeper things that you can like. Uh, forget what they're actually called but you definitely want that because i don't know where that i don't know where that socket is and it's somewhere down and of course it doesn't hit the ground because why would it that's annoying so i had to go get another socket and hopefully when i start this up it rattles its way out because yeah truck rattles so much but anyway uh these are seven millimeters or the standard version, which is in my hand right now, is a 930 seconds. Gonna put those bolts there, and we are really gonna hope, that's hand tight, that's, that's good. That's good, that's definitely how that should be. Gonna hope we don't lose them, because if we do, Pull gasket on that. You want to make sure that doesn't get damaged. This one should just, this one should be about the same. It should just pull right out. Yep. O ring on that one too. Got to see how easy that was. Just gonna set these off to the side because I don't need them. I do think I'm keeping the bottom stock box, and I'm gonna have to pause the camera and go get. It looks like 10 millimeters. Nah, I don't have to pause the camera because it's an eight like the top section here so just keep moving right along this is in real time i could probably speed this up and i might do that let me put this on time lapse for you guys because this is pretty easy stuff all right so let me stop the video and let me talk about where i am right now so the still the uh, rubber boot 
that's on the turbo side is still down there that's where the looks like the piping goes um, by the looks of it this isn't needed um, I don't think so so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the box but the box has three eight millimeters in it and then the two couplers are also eight millimeters so this looks like this is looks like it's held in by one like maybe 14 or 15 so I have to use that and then I should be able to remove the box and then start putting the new pipe in so let's see how that looks Alright guys, so got this whole box out. There's a clip on the bottom of the air box. I'm assuming it's for the uh what they consider that the active ram air. Is what is that what the, what the top of this says? Yeah. And like I said guys, I'm sure that the factory intake performs the same, if not better, than what this does. I'm literally doing this for sound. I'm just I mean some people can tell you whatever they want to say, but that's just facts so there's no instructions with this it says there's no instructions with this so i'm like figuring it out as i go so so far bottom coupler uh the factory one like how i mentioned it fits in there and it's resting right here it does come with this bracket which would make sense for it to go into the factory holder i will show you guys another angle here in a second i'm just kind of test fitting this as I'm kind of going a little bit here so yeah I would say that's once that's tightened down in there this will rotate over here and then let me test fit the filter and let me make sure that fits because as far as the sensors go plenty of room for them to go in there I'm not worried about that let me grab the filter real quick And this does not come with a water bag that you see on a lot of the big name brands, such as uh, like really custom fabs or something like that. So I would recommend, highly recommend uh, you get a water bag, which I will, just a sleeve that slides over this to protect it from the conditions. And that's going to go right on the end like that. And this is very, very, very rough fit, but I just wanted to make sure that everything's gonna work and it does appear that it's going to. So let me put you guys on time-lapse so I'm gonna get all the sensors and everything connected. The only thing I will say with me doing this install is the Ram Air has a sensor on the bottom of it that I disconnected and I tucked that out of the way. Um, I don't think it'll give me a check engine light, but I'm going to find out. And yeah, if it does, you guys will be the first to know. So let me put you guys on time-lapse so let me finish this up and let's go for a ride. All right guys, so install is done. Um, like I said, I'm gonna get a water bag for this. The only thing that I'm like really unhappy with is this sensor had to go in kind of crooked because the bolt, um, it just, it isn't perfect. This sensor up here, absolutely perfect. Fits flush, super happy. This one I'm not, so uh, I might take it for a drive, see if it affects anything and if it doesn't, or if it does, come back, adjust it a little bit and go from there. But as far as everything else, bracket underneath is firm mounts over there which you can see which goes to the factory air box and yeah so so far i mean it's an intake it's it's nothing nothing more than that i don't expect these things to uh create big or create big power or be like super super beneficial like i said it was a 50 dollar mod that's why i didn't drop 400 dollars on an intake like most people do so anyway uh probably one and a half out of five if i was rating how difficult it is um, it's super, I mean, super easy. If you have a 10 millimeter, an eight millimeter and an Allen key, you'll, uh, you'll breeze this. So let's go for a drive. Let's see if I hear any different turbine noises. Cause if not, I'm going to be super disappointed. And before we go on the drive, this is what has to be removed. This box right here, this elbow right here. Yeah, I probably should have replaced that a long time ago, huh? But anyway, 
that has to be removed before you can do all this other stuff. And obviously keep your hardware just in case you want to put the intake back on. So on my first drive with it and uh, I haven't went over a quarter throttle. Um, hang on, phone's dying. That's not good. I haven't went over a quarter throttle yet and uh, the intake noise is crazy different. Like not like overbearing, like it's annoying, but like I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> it sounds like a like it sounds like a big truck, like it's like an 18 wheeler. Holy shit, that is <laughs> That is crazy how different that is. Like I tell you guys all the time, I do not expect power out of intakes. Um, I strictly do them for sound. You guys can see the K&N that I did on my EcoBoost. Um, I just think that, <laughs> I just think these companies spend so much money uh, on uh, R&D, like research and design to get these factory intakes uh, to perform the best of their ability. I'm not saying it's not all the time. I'm sure like when you guys go like big, big turbo, I'm sure you absolutely, your, your airbox is restricted, but I'm still on a stock one. God, that sounds so good. I, I don't know if you can, I'm telling you, you really hear the turbo now. Yeah, you really hear it now. Of course, I'll do a video for you guys. The window's down, hopefully the wind doesn't distort it. I'm trying to I'm trying to keep the wind from distorting it. <laughs> oh, it sounds so good though. Oh, I feel kind of bad. I feel like I'm gonna beat on the truck more. and intake setup my god that's how that is how it comes stock turbo i should say stock turbo cummins that's how it should sound honestly i man i'm gonna watch these videos and if you can't pick it up in the video i'm gonna be smiling like an idiot for nothing but anyway let me get back home guys let me give you a full overview of this thing and we'll end the video about it. if you made it this far guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button we got a lot of Cummins stuff coming, second gen, fourth gen. We're buying another one, another Cummins. Yeah, that's happening. We, we're making moves. So hit that hit that subscribe button before we, before we finish this out. Just hit it, do it. Guys, home, finishing the video out. Overall impression of it for the first five minutes of driving and the install uh, for $49. It's almost hard to say no to that considering two people going out to eat cost about that much every time. So. $49, you hate it, take it back off, sell it to your buddy. He hates it, sell it to somebody else. Uh, $49, I would highly recommend this mod. Sounds good. Like I mentioned about that one sensor fitting a little off. I didn't get no check engine light. I'm gonna go for a longer drive and we'll see if it comes back, but uh, highly recommended. Sounds really good. Uh, it really opens up the truck sound wise. And uh, yeah, so guys, till next time, thank you. Support those who support you. Peace.